Hey guys, it's TTL back with another rush kit for you and today we're going to be taking a look at the MSI Z170A Crate Gaming 3X. Yes, it's a heck of a mouthful. But this is one of the boards that MSI is branding with their 30th anniversary logo on the side there, obviously celebrating 30 years of MSI or MicroStar International as they were when they first started being in business and they do say on the back saying about uh, innovation and achievements and you can pretty much, you know, MSI have really, really pulled their socks up in the last few years, driving forward the uh, gaming graphics cards and the new motherboards and also their uh, laptop range has come on in leaps and bounds. But gaming LAN on the motherboard that I will show you in a second is one of the main things. It's got a LAN protect feature. Uh, we've also got military class components, that's another big keyword for MSI products. We've got the uh, Game Boost, we've also got USB 3.1 and they've got a little bit of uh, software as well that can help make it even faster. You've got Audio Boost with 115 dB signal to noise ratio uh, and 24-bit 192 kHz uh, audio. Uh, they're also talking about a Steel Armor and their DDR Boost feature. but if we swap everything around and actually bring the motherboard in for a look, and yes, you can see a lot of other motherboards and graphics cards in the background. Oh, how nice. But anyway, so when we bring it in, I actually really like the, uh, the fact that it's got an almost race car-y feel white effect to it. Now we all know, or many people will know that I do like white anyway. One thing I can say though, is it's nice to see that they've got the uh, black slots on the outside. Might sound strange, but these black slots are where you should put your memory. So if you end up putting a white memory stick uh, in the correct slots, it means you've still got the white um, uh, visible connectors if you're not filling all four, which is pretty cool. We've also got the uh, three-step um, M.2 up the top here. Again, this is in a nice visible position because let's face it, the M.2s aren't cheap. One thing I will say is just make sure that you do get a black one. You can obviously get the M.2s in black from Kingston and from Samsung. Um, although I haven't got a Samsung one because they're so useless, they won't send me one. So if you would love to see me do a Samsung drive, go and give them hassle because I've been asking for such a long time now, I'm actually fed up with it. Even when I say to them, can I have one and I will review it and then I'll use it in my systems afterwards as well so that they would continue to see it in reviews going forward and get loads of exposure. They're still just a bit meh because they're a bit useless. Right, rant over. So we've also got the uh, steel armor around the outside of these two uh, PCI Express slots. Uh, so this is where you would put your graphics cards. There is DDR4 boost built in here. When they do say about um, uh, military spec components, we can see there's a little TI on top of the chokes. There we go. So we can see there's a little TI on top of the chokes. So that's their titanium chokes. We can also see black Japanese caps there. I can't see, or no, I haven't been able to find any information about, whoo, there we go, back out again. Find any information uh, specific to the MOSFETs. We can see down here, we've got two SATA ports. Uh, four in total, sorry, two SATA stacks. We've got a uh, horizontal USB 3 and a uh, vertical USB 3. I'll give you a wander around so that we can see where the um, um, fan headers are. You've got the main CPU one up here, which we can see. Ding, 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 ding. Then we've got a chassis fan or channel fan, whatever you want to call. This is actually CPU fan too, sorry. Then we've got system fan three here. And then uh, there is... I'm just going to pick the board up because it's going to be easier. We have another system fan two down here, system fan one there, and I can't see any other ones. So right, we'll go around them all again. CPU fan one, CPU fan two, system fan one. Where'd it go? System fan two, system fan three. So there we go. We've got those. Ooh, I do like that, I'm sorry. Right, then we've got the audio boost down the side, so it's got a separate audio, uh, separate trail, so it keeps everything separate from the rest of the motherboard. And then when we come round onto the back, down this end, we've got PS2, two USB 2s, then we've got USB 3.1, you've got the A and the C, these share the same bandwidth. Two more USB 2s, a HDMI, two USB 3s, there's your uh, gigabit ethernet with the uh, LAN guard and everything like that. 
digital audio, which you've uh, got a gold-plated connections in there, and you've also got a uh, infrared or optical out, whatever you would like to call it, and then you've also got a DVI out on the back. So when you're talking about outputs, if you're going to be using the onboard video, then you've got HDMI and then the DVI there. So there we go, peeps. I think this would make an awesome uh, uh, basis to a, um, uh, not a basic PC, but a well-chosen PC is probably the best way for us to put it. It's not the most expensive one out there. It gives you what you need. Uh, you know you're gonna get some decent overclocking out of it as well, and it's got enough connections to get you by. You've got your M.2, which is gonna be your main one for a system drive now. You've got some drives down here, whether you wanna use um, uh, mechanical drives or some solid state drives for storage. It's all there. So there we go, peeps. So that is your MSI Crate Gaming 3X. Not sure what the 3X means, XXX. It's probably that they didn't want to put that because they knew Google would end up um, uh, filtering it out, thinking that it was uh, naughty adult stuff. But anyway, this has been TTL with our rush kit of the Z170A Crate.